Oh, hi everyone, welcome aboard. That'll be your Captain Hillian tonight. No, not tonight, today. <laughs> Along with. This is my return to Kiel at your service. We will be right back after grabbing his food. <laughs> And welcome to Showcase Sunday number 117. And <laughs> uh, yeah, we've been going with these for quite some time, huh? Uh, give me a sec to scroll something up over there. Yep. And uh, yeah, for anyone new, what we do with Showcase Sunday is we try out some games <clears throat> to see if they're good for any you know, for streaming in full some other time. And we give each about half an hour. Um, typically, we've reached about six, uh, about four. Lately, it's been six a lot uh, because we will drop a game if it is just plain not fun or plain obvious that it's not going to be our style because we do typically stream more for story than anything else. <clears throat> and yeah, the first game we have today is Terror Bane, or rather, Error Bane, as well as probably very obvious with things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's give it a moment for Drakir to return. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can start the game, give it its half hour, and see what madness awaits us. <laughs> okay, it's taking a bit longer than I expected. Uh, I do want him to see most of these. I, I found this game through a, a Twitch streamer, I forget who, but the long and short of it is that this game is a this game is a parody of gaming and such itself. And what little I had seen, well, it definitely had me interested. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Just <laughs> Pretty sure the castle's not supposed to be floating around upside down at that. Damn. How is he taking so long? <clears throat> Anyways. Um, I thought I saw him light up for a second there as I looked up. Let's see, since we finished with Cleo <clears throat> yesterday, we'll have to find a new game to put in place of that uh, i did put up a poll about it on my discord server where well currently it's <laughs> it's a 50 50 shot between nox and partisans 1941 uh, both with one vote so i might need to make a tiebreaker <laughs> or just pick something oh, that's different time to vote <laughs> welcome back yeah, come on, uh, sorry for delay. Add use new uh, source portals, and that means, of course, opening up and removing the damn lid thing. Seal. Yeah, this damn seal, and as you may, people may guess, those can sometimes be quite a struggle to get rid of. Yes, there typically tends to be at least one that tears, and then you need to work off a little, pry off a little extra. Yeah. yeah, and also his thing. I recently, uh, I recently cut my nails. This means <laughs> no leverage <laughs> or nothing. Yeah, to so <laughs> sort of a delay. For I to open two bottles. Let's get started. Then start the timer. The scroll. Let's see. At the beginning, only the eternal light existed. From this light, Ariel was born, goddess of all that was good and righteous. There was a pre-bit to the game that I had to skip, but that doesn't seem to want to play anymore. Uh, let's see. Bas long and short of that is, is that we're playtesting a game before release. Unbeknownst to Ariel, however, a great evil, Archdemon Zander, was also given form. Where there's light, there's shadow. Rising from the residual shadows of the Dark Realm, Sandra envied the beauty of Ariella, uh, Ariel and sent his army of winged demons to destroy her. <laughs> when Ariel saw this army of darkness, she wept tears of sorrow.
One of these tears streamed down her heavenly cheek, dropping in the molten energies for primal creation originated by Bork the Undying. Okay, where the heck did he come from then? Where did the demons come from? It was so that Bork, moved by the compassion of Ariel, took to the skies and swinging his mighty hammer forged the ever steel of eternity. Material so great and mighty that it could cleave all creation in half. He then gave the ever steel to a faithful servant, Leorin Rien, the winged beast of blazing sun. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Leorian, uh, just ha as his mistress prophesied, began his voyage among the stars to deliver the Eversteel to the hero of legend who could save the goddess. But Leorian was prideful and thus decided to rest in the skies of a small world, Terra. One of Zander's lieutenants, misspelled, Dreadlord Kuborg of the Mi'kpale Moon, soared through the shadows and stole the Eversteel from Leorian while he rested. Swiftly he escaped, hiding where the light of Leorian could not follow, the dark side of Terra. Okay, now he's just getting more and more cartoonish. Driven mad and filled with horror, the Orion uh, searched for the legendary blade, but could uh, not find it. So he began to encircle the earth in great leaps, desperate to find his treasure. But Kuborg was nimble, and he escaped the sun's vengeance. It was so that, under the light of its moon and sun, the land prospered, and a man knew of its first realms. In the shadows of the kingdom of man, a new light was about to be born. A hero that would change the destiny of this, of this universe forever. It was the dawn of te the terror bane. Okay, that was... lengthy. <laughs> yeah, like, I know what I'm going for, but bloody heck... When they're doing this link, they usually add it in a man world. <laughs> First contact for collect your first bug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I found it a bit odd that I didn't play the, the pre bit. I, I, I really, I have to say, I really don't like that when games will only play a, uh, an intro cutscene only once or so because, well, it typically adds a lot of context and such in case you've forgotten where to go and such. Yeah, like, sure you can find them on YouTube, but if they were to reply, just look at them up on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I need to remember, <sighs> YouTubers may, who may want to stream these usually want to make sure the games work. So it would be annoying Sorry. to having to lose some uh, important things you actually had to check and you can see it once. Yeah. <laughs> so we meet at last, O chosen by the goddess. Your journey has been long, but finally I've drawn you here within my dark realm. So let us have at it. It shall be a fitting contest. Come, face your nemesis. Son the tyrant of darkness. Yep. Is that... Yep. Let's see, this time I shall triumph and drown this, uh, this wool in darkness. <laughs> really, one damage? Wait, that's the I'm really sword? supposed to believe this is everything you've got? <laughs> Come on, show me your true abilities. Wait, that's the... S I thought that was a shield! <laughs> Okay, what does this do? Dip. Back. You are a powerful chosen one, but don't delude yourself, I won't be defeated. It is not even my final form. Look you to my straight in the eyes, little soul. Let's see. What does this do then? <laughs> Oops. A bit of collateral damage. Ah, damn you. Your power is great, but this is only the beginning. B 
Okay, what? Uh, there must have been a mistake. I'm sorry, Chosen, but you're a Zonder is in the castle. Uh, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Just an innocent barrel. Uh, George form. Yeah, this game is uh, silly to the max. Yeah, from what I remember. But it does give me concern already. <laughs> no, my power of fate, but this is not the end yet. Yep. <laughs> really? You haven't changed at all, young child. Don't you recognize me? <laughs> Come on. Join me and together we can rule this kingdom. What are you doing here? This is the game's ending scene. I go to the toilet for just one minute and you already mess up my storyline? Hey, would you mind I'm working here? Do you have any idea of what it takes for a poor developer like me to come up with this kind of groundbreaking plot twists? Five minutes on TV tropes. <laughs> There's just no use with you. I bet you even skipped the scroll introduction. It's impatient players like you that are ruining this business for everyone, you know? No, seriously, this is my big moment. You can't just interrupt me like that. But still, <laughs> it's better if I take you to the beginning of the game now. Actually, I don't even like this scene that much. Maybe I'll change it somewhere along the way. I, no, <laughs> I will not relent. I am under the Tyrant of Darkness. I shall defeat the Chosen One and drown his world in darkness. And he doesn't even get the finish. I, I feel like it has some similarities with the Evil Land slightly, but also a lot of its own things. And I am already unsure if we should stream this. Okay, uh, name selection. Uh, let's see. So, as you probably expect, I'm already concerned for epilepsy warnings. What? Really? Is this really how you want to be called? Yes. Oh, mighty! That lame name you just invented. <laughs> lame name that nobody likes. Save the realm! Can you imagine that? I certainly can't. But don't worry. Thankfully, I had already prepared a great name for you. Yeah, of You're course. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, this whole game have... is going to be about, well... The developer messing with you, and you messing with the developer's game. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm even more unsure. Especially after that, which is actually going to the Book of Grudges. <laughs> hey, you. You are the Terrorbane. You're chosen by the goddess, Gwon. King Mustachio summons you here in Whiskerberg, the capital of the kingdom. Yes, of course. <laughs> Every real hero receives a quest from a royal of some kind, Gwon. Cross the city gates and follow the road north to find his royal palace. I'll be here warming up my old bones by the fire. Um, okay. Uh, that way, look at the fire. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's definitely Toxus represent. Wait, that's not. Is that even fire? The firewood? That looks like a skeleton they're burning. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything of a skeleton, but more like a cross of sticks and such. <laughs> Even not enough sticks to cause a fire enough that much of a fire at least. Hi, right, welcome to Whiskerberg. And welcome to uh, Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Alec wins. Pay no mind to my colleague here. He's not alright in the code, if you get my meaning. Yeah, the, the joke here, I believe, is mostly being that somehow this idiot managed to program semi-sentient AI and such. Terrorbane, the chosen one. Certainly his majesty must be waiting for you in his royal palace. You'll find it north of here, just follow the road. Okay, Shadow Glitch. 
I mean, definitely there's, there's, there's a lot of humor in this game, but also... One of the problems with these, with these kind of games that are like this is... How do you know when, it, when it's an actual bug or not? Hey, where do you think you're going? Nobody goes through this gate if not, not by order of the king. What? You're D Terrorbane? Nonsense, it best you look like a. Really? <laughs> hey, if you're really the chosen one, you must have some kind of treasure. A powerful weapon, a dragon's head? I don't know, something heroish. Come on, press the read button to open that in game menu and show me what you've got. Why is he walking through water? <laughs> Let's see. A kid with a strange hat and big eyes gave you this stone, claiming that and with its power you can bind monsters into eternal servitude. The guards appreciated you bringing him back into their custody. <laughs> That's a it's Pokeball. A pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing, you don't even have the money for a stay at the inn, do you? No, no, no. These things are sold in general stores. I mean a special item. Something only a seasoned adventurer could have. Like the Elemental Stones, for example. Yes, some retired adventurers possess the Elemental Stones of Earth. Water and Fire. They are Lester the Innkeeper, Juniper the Priestess, and Dana the Blacksmith. Start with Lester, he's at the inn at the center of town. If you manage to gather the stones, come find me and I'll let you pass. Really? Also... Are you sure about just walking into the water constantly? What, I'm walking on water? So that's why my shoes keep getting soaked. <laughs> okay. No, uh, really a wooden mustache? The, the place is called Whiskerberg. <laughs> you would not know this? Uh, uh, the, <laughs> you look very much like Lu Waluigi. Uh, welcome. You must be Terrorbane, the chosen one everyone's talking about, eh? Yes, I'm Lester the Innkeep. Can I help you? Elemental stones? That rubbish? I think I got one of those down in the cellar. What, you need that? You yeah, might as well take it. It's from the last expansion and the stats are really bad. I don't need it anymore. Here's yeah, the key for the cellar. If you manage to find it among the other useless scraps I keep in there, you can take it. Did you, say, did you say craps or scraps? Scraps. Sorry, Chosen, but the kitchen is employee only. And can, where right, is I'm this up there? Hmm? If, if they are the owner of the inn, and they don't have a mustache. In a yeah. mustache themed inn. Yep. Really up in this. Everything just glitching the hell out. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> hmm. Okay, doesn't look like there is a way to really get that thing through here. Actually. can push the walls. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that's something I also remember about, about this game. Due to it being buggy as all hell, it also allows for some uh, interesting puzzle designs. Did you feel some kind of tremor right now? I could have sworn I felt the building shift from the basement over. You might need to check your foundations a bit. Okay. Let's see. We need to find the blacksmith. The time flies. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm not taking orders in today. The king wants to see me, so I took the rest of the day off. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure this is Dark Souls armor here. 
they all seem to have some so beyond that. The key blades, cloud swords, the master swords. Uh, I know that design from somewhere, but I'm forgetting where exactly. League of Legends, maybe? Unsure. I'm not sure about the first two. It really is Wait, much the second on the one I recognize. I recognize the second one there. That's Frostmourne. Hmm. The first one over there. Yeah. Okay. There's the stupid stone. <laughs> we can't reach it. Uh, I can throw you. Okay, we're going to need some sort of food stool or knock the thing down, maybe? Uh, uh, hello. Uh, <laughs> oh, good God. Hey! Uh, no, wait, sorry. You know, it's the first time you fix a bug rather than causing a ruckus. What is this strange thing I'm feeling now? Some kind of... of not rage? Okay... Uh, I'm getting but more and more sure locked. about this uh, stream in this game, for I feel like I... How to say this? I feel like if you were to stream this game, I probably... end up having a headache for all the flashing lights. Okay, that could be a point, yeah. Yeah, hmm. and also so it didn't give it didn't give an epilepsy warning or anything at the start. Yeah, but I'm still do. worried that there might be some. And otherwise, I I feel also I may go insane. <laughs> Just from the sheer stupidity of everything. Yeah. Okay, magic shop. Hey, where do you think you're going? Take a look at your inventory. You owe me a bit. Rat. We didn't. Okay. Pretty sure I didn't touch a thing there. Uh, run, flee, apologize. That scoundrel, I knew it. Don't show your face around here ever again, you crook. Uh, I'm pretty sure we didn't. We didn't get a single thing. Oh, my chicken inventory. Uh, items. Yeah, nothing more than we already had, I think. Unless he claims mm. all the stuff is his? It's a doubt because we came in with that. Oh, God, that reminds me of I saw on, uh, on YouTube on a pawn shop episode. Someone picked up items from a pawn shop shelves. The only saw this. Then the guy takes the stuff to the to him uh, at the cashier area and asks, yeah. Alright, how much do you want to buy this stuff for? Okay. Yeah, security got called. Appears to be unstable. Totally not. Uh jamming in some sort of ancient evil into that big old vase. Uh, you're the priestess. Welcome oh, to the sacred God. temple of Ariel. I'm Juniper the priestess. Elemental stones? Oh yes, I've got one of those. I found it many, many years ago exploring the temple of water. Unfortunately, I can't give it to you. Its mystical energies keep the Jar of Shadows sealed. What's the Jar of Shadows? We don't know exactly. It's always been there. All we know is that it links our world to a dark realm. A realm of which the likes no mortal has ever seen. So we built the temple around it. I'm sorry, but I just can't give it, uh, give you the stone. Are we going to have to end up grabbing it all the same or something? It appears to be unstable. Oh, we can just pluck it out. Uh, yeah, we <laughs> that was holding in all the bugs, <laughs> or even more bugs. Uh, let's just walk out before this thing implodes. Oh wait, I forgot to mention. Do 
I really have to speak? Must I really comment on this disaster? What? My fault? <laughs> As if. Just because I covered a giant gaping hole in the map tile set with the sprite of a jar. The place was perfect for the stone. How was I supposed to know that taking it would make the whole city just up and explode? I'm not the player here. You are. My art is in development, not in, bl in, in, bl in fooling around like you do. Yeah, <clears throat> well, <clears throat> how are we going to get back on track now? The Royal Palace went down with the rest of the map. Hmm. Well, you're only missing one of the stones to complete the quest, right? I do have an old project still lying around. Uh, you could play that while I fix this mess. Yup, let me set that up. And try not to break everything this time. We're going to try and break everything. <laughs> okay, what is he throwing us into then? Oh, gods. An old version? The Therabane Interactive Fiction. <laughs> Ye are the Therabane Saver of Yon World. You come into the... Uh, you find yourself in a grassy plain, a path stretches across the horizon, and the less beaten path goes eastward. Uh, sorry, and... I don't need to look away, for this already hurting my eyes. Let's see. You comment upon the splendid finder, the wondrous shore of a lake lieth at the edge of yon clearing, a boat waited gently moored by a pier. Uh... You freed the boat from its bindings, and thou uh, rowest to the center of the lake. You uh, recall the ancient legend telling of uh, thy mighty moonfish. Magical carp that helps <laughs> travelers in need. Maybe you can match the fish for it. Fishing it is, then. Mm -hmm. You missed the last fishing lesson. Might have something to do with how you keep on hooking your own boot. Your quest on the moon fish requires further directions. Okay, back to shore. Uh, return. Mm -hmm. Yonder. Stand in front of ye treacherous dungeon of destiny. Ominous statues stand on uh, thine path. What must uh, what dost thou do? Uh, wait, what fall witchcraft is it? The statues bar you from entering with their pointy lances. The statues beckon you to enter the dungeon. Thou must answer a riddle. What is black and blue and travels at a speed of 300 miles and walks on three feet by day and on three uh, apples minus one pin? <laughs> Come on. Uh, 42. Uh, now where by the great big whale in the sky did you conjure up your reference? <laughs> uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. <clears throat> uh, just attack the statues. Uh, <laughs> we just beat them into submission. Uh, though we are about to just hit the time limit here. So let me pause that. Reset it, and yeah, main menu. There, start menu. Okay, I'm guessing it's a heavy no from you then. I'm leaning no, but this is a maybe no. Um, I may need time to think on this, but I am okay. Definitely concerned. And we can leave it uh, to a bit of more research. Then it, it, I don't. Really, it's not really a game you can really get into in like high, half an hour. Yeah, because what I had, what I had seen of it before was somewhere in the midst to end game, and I think it was. Uh, I'm blanking on their name for the moment. The streamer uh, Viking Blonde, they were streaming it. Anyways, next game. This is Teslagrad, remastered, and I had heard a, a good amount about this game, so it's been on my uh, one thing to stream list for a bit, but then again, so it's much, <laughs> are many more games as well. How we see so, this? Hmm? Just for the music loaded in this scene? <laughs> I'm filled with hope. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a good first impression, so let's see how much that continues. 
Built plenty of save slots. Yeah, I, I should probably say this. I usually not impressed by game just by this, but. Give me a sec. See, we have visitors, so I just close the door. Time and season passing. That's seasons. Ew, quite a lot some time. WASD and jump. The animations are quite nice. Hello, Cap. Yeah. Uh, I recognize the right. They look runic. I don't know what they are uh, writing inspired mm. by rune writing. Don't think we'll want to be big caught. That don't think we'll want to be caught by the big man in reds. If you wanna like that. Okay, let's try it again. Hmm. And yeah, the setting looks to me uh, what would be the wording? Slavic? Like Russian air region? Did you say hmm? Tesla Grad or Tesla Guard? Tesla Grads. Alright. Oop. These fall. Okay. If I recall correctly, this game is a Metroidvania. So, of course, ooh, we're going to start out with almost nothing. Okay, there are checkpoints. Ooh. Really, can you be any more on the nose? Like... <laughs> The king on the one side and all the peasants in pain on the other. Can I get on top of that? Not anymore now. Okay, but... At least we know that there are some physics like that. Probably going to have to use that for a puzzle or two. Okay, this is a guess from what I saw there. I gotta guess if the KE is very low, that the one with the peasant symbol that looked like they were in torment means uh, yeah, the, the peasantry are yeah. in uh, disarray, pain, and all that. So it's a bad mm. sign. Yeah. So, so then if why you have would you lower, make a stupid statue out of that? Yeah, but still, it kind of makes sense for if it if you had the peasant, the torment, the peasantry. At the bottom and the keen high, that Dude. should probably mean good stability. I, I'm go. I'm just guessing here what they're trying to Dude. convey. Okay, did not fully expect him to be able to jump. Okay. But yeah, I'm guessing that there's some sort of revolution going on. Though no clue why they are after the kid here then. Wait a minute, I just realized, did you say the statues with a king with a sword? Mm. Yeah, this is that statues of an old king. I'm guessing uh, the old king died and the new king, well, was not as kind or great a man as we are seeing with bits like this. I, I'm going yeah. to presume that most of the people think he, that he was murdered by his son yeah, or some other sword. usurper. I noticed this sword was impaled into something that was not a lion, but looked more outerworldly. Okay. Another one. Goons. And I saw two statues of those. So. There might be a chance you meet something that, more, that is not human. And. Likely not uh, your average animal either. Mm. But they have six eyed beasts. Oh, oh, hello there, Beardy. Santa? <laughs> Santa's coming for the naughty list, and he's working through them one by one personally. Oop, get up. Oop. I 
I'd say mauled, but he's already bald, so he can't be bad. So he can't go bald from being mad. What? Why am I getting oddly owl boy feel from this? Now this style, I hope Perry, Perry goes again. Hmm, what's with that glove? Also, why did no one clean that skeleton up in however long it took? And who the heck is this statue about? Hmm. Let's see, get a charge, and then charge that, get charged, then get elevated, because that's not doing anything at the moment. Okay, and we lose charge if we touch you, or was that just a temporary charge? Hmm. That, okay, just completely vaporized the kid. <laughs> okay, so immediately showing how these things can be a hazard as well. And how they're not too bright when it comes to ledges, it seems. It, Okay, got lucky there that it didn't crush. Oh, I, there's a gap in here. Yeah, I would say, the thing you want up. Hmm? A donk? Kid gets a headache. What's this over here? Okay, the little firefly. Hmm. Now before anything else... Let's see... Knights and um, let's see. Okay, forging weapons for or against? No, nope. using something against invaders from the looks of it. And prosperity. Well, in the absence of the invaders. Okay, we can go this way, but it's blocked. Okay, so invaders, alchemists, I'm presuming, or of some sort, uh, at first getting their asses kicked as they are raided, but then developing some sort of power or technology that lets them best their, the invaders. Okay. Okay, I thought it would repel. Oh, there we go. That would. That... Okay, so we've got a magnetic, <laughs> magnetic gauntlet. They'll let yeah. us uh, charge things positively or negatively. Okay. So far, I'm feeling. I kind of like this game. I'm impressed, but I do notice this a potential glaring problem. That be. We haven't read anything or heard anything yet. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. So, while I am impressed by the game, I feel like it does a good vibe. I am concerned it might be a bit tr tricky to figure out the damn story. Environmental storytelling is a thing. We haven't really done too many games that rely solely on that. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay, we just hate it to open it. And that's what I'm worried about. If they, in, they uh, rely on it way too much, you know, almost to the point of 100%, that can be an issue. For sure, yeah. you have fun with guessing what is going on in such a times, but this, when it's 100% environmental storytelling, Everything you will do is a guess. With a chance of not getting an answer. Hmm. Okay, so, so we can yeah. trust... Oh. Okay, the, it, okay, I get it here. This one, that one was repelled by this magnet here. And now it's being held in place by that one. And 
can I undo that? Because I think we need that to get up here. Actually, there, okay. There. Then we charge it like that. Okay. So those things give us a positive or negative charge to match with, well, this. Or these and such. Oop. Okay. I'm definitely like liking the physics for the... Uh, would it be platforming or just puzzling? Puzzle platforming? Oop, 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 yeah. hello. Okay, I just missed some there. I would say puzzle platforming would be a good term. Hmm. I do hope someone will speak or there'll be some kind of writing that we can read. Hmm. And because this game has a sequel, no, not going that way because it's pitch dark and there is just, well, <laughs> uh, a, a lightning gate in the way. Okay, we can charge you. Okay, just get. <laughs> they just get dunked in there. Okay. So, if we. Give you a negative charge. I don't remember. Didn't you play Tale of Two Brothers or something? Yeah. Was that. The... That's what. What's that? Environmental storytelling? The... Uh, not really what? environment. Now, there was some environmental storytelling, but most of it was well, clearly obvious with what was going on and such. Yeah, I don't remember. Did we be able to see, like, they spoke one language, but we were able to read it in English as well, right? Uh, no, there, there weren't subtitles. So, yeah, it, that that was the first oh. quote unquote silent game that we did. Uh, okay. I, I think I know what to do here. Does that reset? Yes, that resets. Okay. Turn it positive so it gets attracted, turn it negative, and there we go. Um, yeah, Tale of Rupert, I think it worked for... Was it too much mystery? Like, you were being very much the toad to understand, okay, this was happening now. But this is what happened then, in some context. Here... Yeah, here's way too many questions at right off the bat. Got to wait out the charge, Ooh. and zap. Okay. Try it again. There is something up there, but we can jump high enough to get in it. Get a charge of you, stick to that. Okay. Now we got to jump over these. Ooh. And try not to get, well, zapped. If, like that. Hmm. Okay, I'm definitely still interested though. So even if we don't end up streaming this game, I'll definitely be playing it on my own time at least. I'm on, I'm 50-50. I'm it's not a good. And I'm impressed about the gameplay so far, but I, 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 yeah, you have heard me. I have raised my concern. Hmm. Uh, okay. Okay, that's fine. I don't hate environmental storytelling. They are fine. It can be very good. But they all be to be hit and miss. Hmm. Okay, that's just going to move back and forth now. Zip. Okay, I, I am really liking just the magnetism stuff and such. Also, doesn't help much that. Well, it's cool. One of the big, pro uh, uh, one of the big projects I was a part of included, uh, or was about magnetism and such. Uh, looks like we found ourselves a boss fight. And companion cubes. Okay. Okay. Now 
we just supposed to... Hmm. If they're charged... If, oh, okay, he's... He eats them up and... What? Okay, did nothing. Okay. Can we use that to just... Get pulled out or something? Hmm. Okay, I'm missing something here. Wait, I think you want him to eat the red ones. Hmm. Now it seems he can't pull the red ones off. Oh, wait. And Maybe you just need to feed it for a bit. Yep, we're actually damaging it by feeding it, and then it, <laughs> then it just scorched us to nothing. Okay. Okay, feed it until it gets an upset stomach, then hide the, the hell away. Okay. Keep doing that. It, ew, no, it's it's better. It's speeding up the conveyor belt. Okay. Wait, one of the eyes. How go? Oh, you think you need to do it once more? I think the eye. Yeah. The We're lines. damaging its systems. Yeah. For both of them were lit up earlier, I think. Okay. Fire. Fire. Oh. I am right, both are broken. And speeding up yet more. And the jaw is cracking, so I guess one more and it's the... the and three destroyed. is typically the magic number when it comes to bosses. Yep. You, do my... There. Okay, it, it, we need to feed it three boxes each time. I like that it's actually also a physical representation in the world, since it keeps locking the boxes over there. Hmm. Kind of a bit lucky on if it uh, actually... Oop, there we go, drag one in or not. Seems to be easier to drag up uh, right the smaller ones. Right as we were about to finish. Okay. Okay, they just need to be in its graphs long enough to be pulled in. We can't charge the conveyor belts. There we go. It also helps, of course, if we could just launch parts up into it. Like that. Oop. Okay, did not intend that. Oop. Okay, oop. it's going to start speeding up. It's a lot safer on that end. There, that's one. That's two. Okay. There we go. That's the second one done. Now we're yeah, we're we're mostly safe here. No risk of getting hit by the boxes and pushed back. Okay, there we, we don't even destroy any boxes that are caught between it and the wall. Okay. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little detail. Mm -hmm. Almost it. Okay. Uh, right, come what? on. It didn't want to walk from that one? It needs to be a bit more accurately in its maw, not on its quote unquote cheeks. Mm. But yeah, so he eat it and chew it. Yeah, uh, come on. Okay, one more. Oh, oh, there we go. Get out of the way. Okay, I thought it was going to breathe fire one last time, but no. Okay. Ooh. Almost got crushed. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we're taking this with us. Oh, it actually does transition over. I didn't expect it to. Okay, that's nice. Let's see, some more Those tapestries. Are Those are the creatures saw the statue impaling with a sword. Okay. Okay, some sort of ability to shift through bars. And Is it just me, or does that look a bit like uh, one of those old-school cosmonaut bubbles? Also, there's writings on those fans. Hmm. Okay, we can't jump far from this. Okay, we yeah, we need some sort of phasing power to get through that. Hmm. I'm guessing we might get that here. Oh, oh no. Okay. Yeah, here we're getting it. Let's not stick around with near these things. No, oh, but okay, we can just zoom straight through them. <laughs> Never mind. And get eaten. Okay. Oh, I see. This one's bars are broken. Okay. Um. Okay, if we lure it to the sides. Hmm. Okay, it. it when it. We don't want it to move away. Is there anything behind there? Nope. Okay, it takes a bit. Uh, like a second or two to recharge. Yep. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's just me, but these things look a bit 3D. There, I think we... it's... Uh, oh yeah, I think they have the same lightning effect as your character, like the light reflects on it in a bit. So it's... gives you kind of a bit of illusion of 3D. Especially with the... Mm -hmm. the... Well, only color Ooh. they have. To be, you seem to be like a shadow with eyes. Yo, that, that, it really wants us. <laughs> they look terrifying. Okay, what is this? Wait, the alchemist yeah. used to control these things? Yeah, they look like they tamed them. So these ones have begun feral. Yeah. I don't really feel, I feel like they... They look slightly different from those art depictions, so they might be more than just feral. <laughs> Unless those we saw in the picture were... tamed hmm. ones? Or like domesticated? Could be. Let's hope there aren't any wandering around in here. Okay, the fireflies are attracted to us whilst we are positively charged, it seems. That's something up there? Don't touch that, because... Oh, wait, we're... Ooh, 
we're on the other side of the passageway from before. And that's the stream timer, or the timer for this game. I'm leaning towards yes with this. Only maybe yes? I feel like more investigation. Okay. For now, though... Yeah. Well, next, next game, then. The evil begins. That can be closed. All right. <clears throat> okay, it wasn't catching for a second there. And, yeah, both fast, though. Oh, Tango, for a moment I s <laughs> For a moment I thought with snail, toad, toad snail. Um. Yeah, photosensitivity warning. So hopefully there is an option to turn that down. I don't think they are, but I think I recall people playing this and uh, mentioning they had to cut out those moments. Okay, let's do a double check on that. Subtitles, okay. Graphics, okay, nothing that really says anything on that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a warning then here for anyone uh, with po with epilepsy uh, risk. Uh, yeah, it might be better to skip ahead some. Uh, actually, let me make a note here of the time. Then I'll edit for YouTube. I'll edit in a, uh, a point for people to jump to. Then again, with, with YouTube, I could add in those chapters. Uh, basically dividing the video into... Uh, into named parts. I was thinking about doing that with these showcase Sundays, uh, but for me to... <laughs> I will definitely probably won't be doing that for all of the previous ones, because, yeah, we're on number 117. That would be 116 videos for me to go back through and uh, adjust like that. I Actually, I think for a time I actually did it. Maybe uh, I'll look into it. Yeah, I think you did. For, I think I uh, watched one of our videos... And you may have done that? It's I'm sure it is. 103. At the very least, I'll put in... Or I'll, I'll try to remember to put in a, a note for when the next game starts. But for now... Let's just start with this game. Let's see. Casual survival. Standard difficulty challenge and overcome your fears. Let's see. It cannot be raised. Once difficulty has been selected, it cannot be raised during gameplay, but it can be lowered. Okay, always nice when that is an option. The, for the weak and fearful, auto-aiming enabled by default and slightly more ammo than normal. <laughs> you don't gotta... You don't have to insult me. This feels like the second game that is insulting you. The and first one was way more directly insulting you. One eight four copy code three ETA three minutes. Copy one eight four. Wait. Sorry, detectives. I know you're just coming off a case, but I'm afraid we're gonna have to make a detour. Sounds serious. Is it a riot? A call went out just before I picked you up. It said it was multiple homicides. Half a dozen units already on scene. One three one, please advise. Hey, maybe it's the ghost of that doctor who went schizo and chopped up all those patients. That's not what happened. Some patients disappeared. Some kind of scandal? Still, gives you the creeps, doesn't it? 127, 124, please respond. Hi, Joseph. Yes, you think there's a connection? It's a possibility. I believe the records were sealed. Anyone on scene, respond. Dispatch, this is Detective Castellanos in 184. What's the situation? Over. 184, be advised. Some problems with Jim on the scene. memorial on Is there any... God damn it. Jesus! 
Junior Detective Kitten. Any thoughts? Nothing yet. I'm sure we'll know everything once we get there. Oh, it is just in the air. Well, this isn't suspect at all. What do you make of it? Connolly, contact dispatch and let them know what's happening. Joseph, Kidman, you're with me. We're gonna have a look around. Right. Also, very cliche detective coats. Yeah, wait. Even with e hold on. Also, very big letterboxing. Okay. Oh. Game looks good still. It is a bit old by now. I think this game came out in the twenty tens ish. I had the double shake. It was. I thought. I was born Wait, do I have this game? But no, it was. It, the one I had was Alone in the Dark. <laughs> well, it has similarities. It smells like blood. All right. Stay sharp. Wait, oh, no, it's familiar. We're gonna check it out. Don't let anyone else through this door. I can be an extra set of eyes. We don't know what's happening here. You're a backup. I watch multiplayer play this a bit. So that might be why I recognize the name. <laughs> and the uh, cutscenes. And holy moly. Yeah, it looks like someone went mental at the mental hospital. Someone alive in here. I mean that's putting it mildly. I think we're going beyond mental. Are you injured? What happened here? Can't be real. Impossible. Ruvik is... I've got him. The security cameras might tell us something. Conveniently fallen lamp. What the hell? Well, we're in shits. Yeah, that knife is not properly animated. Also, I'm worried about this music here. I don't know if that music is copyright free or copyrighted. For usually, hear it in many movies and series, but this might be the first game I hear this in. But I am. It, it is enough a tune. I don't know the name of the song. But it's not for me to be concerned. Come on. Come on.
And of course, the gun is gone. Uh, I'd be surprised if they had not removed the gun. Okay, hold the sneak. Oh, that was a new body getting dumped here. Uh, locked. Locked. Shut. <laughs> it seems we're of too much uh, of the same mind on that. Uh, where did he go? You mean you? Well, if you need, if you need to go to the bathroom. There he'd go. Um. Yeah, I think if it wasn't clear already, uh, this is a bit of a gory game. Uh, is this allowed on Twitch, this game? It's not on the banned list, I believe. I could see those maybe streaming this on a spooky mod, but still. <laughs> okay, let me just see ordinary keys. A key found in the mental hospital basements. These were in use long before the hospital's modern security system was put in. Okay. Yeah, now let's just uh, get out before we end up in the sausage. I said this. They don't many gore games, but most of them are more cartoony or somewhat not uh, horror gory. Mildly, uh, what? Not horror gory, like Doom. Yeah. yeah, this is very different gory. Yeah, this is horror gore. Nope. Big and Stabby is on the move again. I could hear him. <laughs> hear him walking. And he's gone. Yep. Shit. Run, run. Uh, in the name of I think we stumbled upon a bit more than just uh, multiple homicides, huh? What the heck is going on? Okay, I watched Bucky play, play this, but I did not finish it. I think it, would, I think it was a new release, I maybe watched one or two episodes, and I got distracted by something else. Uh, yeah, very understandable limp, seeing as we got clipped by a fucking chainsaw. Okay, let's just get the fuck out of here. I'm feeling like that's gonna be the entire game, trying to get out. <laughs> what is that noise? Arrow? Also, this would not be a good idea with an open wound. But it's not like we have much of a choice. It's, well, infection or... Try and head back towards uh, Mr. Butcher. Yeah, like, you can treat an infection if you're fast enough and have the right things for it. Yeah. 
But yeah. yeah, it is definitely a risk to be concerned about. Where's the exit? Let's see, what's this? Old note from Sewer. Beside the lock gate at the far end of the sewer, there is a ladder which would take you to the old ward. If you could make it through there, you would find an elevator leading outside. You would be the one uh, who... <clears throat> you would be the one who escaped. You might be the one who survived. R. Convenient. I guess they were unable to escape. Yeah, and just... Well, sat and bled out. Also, that's a lot of barbed wire. Same here. These... Hmm. Okay, that was a bit of a pain to do. Like, sure, it, it, using a bullet bite like that could prevent people from getting in, but... Merchant put the poor soul putting it up. Yeah. Though I think the poor soul at the moment is us trying to get the fuck out of this horror... <laughs> out of this horror house. What did you hear me say first? Uh, hell howl, something like that. Something starting with H. Okay. Another file. Boiler room notes. Let's see. 1 p.m. STEM systems uh, operation test begins. 1.15. Success. Confirmation of brainwave synchronization. Loss is minimal. Continuing experiment. Agent collects the data. 1.30, anomaly occurs. Not with the subject. The stenographer claimed they weren't feeling well and then fell into a coma for reasons unknown. Doctor... Uh, oop. Okay, I wanted to scroll that, not end that. Is there a way I can find that again? Archive? Uh, archive. Okay. Uh, personal documents... there. Oh. Mouse wheel... Uh, that's not doing anything. Let me try that again. Uh, yeah, the mo mouse wheel's not doing anything on this. Okay. Always hmm. scroll is C is... Yeah, C is back. Oh, no. the con yeah, I just realized that. Uh... Can, can you use the mouse to drag it? Nope. But I feel like... What? Seriously? But okay. I feel like the most people use the order menu and not the... Might need to tinker around in the options with that. Okay, just how dilapidated is this freaking place? Do, do, do you really want to know? Okay. Some rather shiny metal bits. But nothing useful, because at the moment, all, all, I think all Sebastian here really wants... Not sure, uh, we, I think we got his last name, but not his first name. Ooh. Ooh, uh... Ooh. Someone's angry. Bye bye. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure besides getting out, all Sebastian wants is some bandages and painkillers. And a doctor. A sane. Yeah, doctor. Okay, he's not coming out.
Gods. There might be some stuff in there, but... If the camera were a little bit higher, I could get a good, better look at him. Yeah, pause it. I'm the vague TV he, he should stream this or not. And here are chains. I don't see chains on him. Okay, dead ends. So we're going to sneak, have to sneak in and bypass him. Okay. Yeah, we need to get to that opening on the other side there. But. Just standing there, or is he moving? I think should be somewhat safe I say as the sound of the chainsaw gets louder and you pick up the doctor How? okay for I, I could have sworn he saw us there Where I think is you he? avoided them just by the split second And I guess you can throw it at you or use it as a distraction. Distraction, most likely. Okay, as long as he's busy in there. We can just sneak on by here, and yeah, that's a pretty mean gash at the back of his leg. That's definitely the hamstring. Okay, any, anything in here? Well, checkpoint, that's useful. Oh, great. He's empty or out of cigarettes. Mono, it sounded like it was ruined by all the blood. Also, very possible. But yeah, if we are to stream this, if we're going to stream this game, it'll definitely be a Halloween game to stream. Yeah, do we should definitely put up a warning. Like, warning a lot of blood and gore and screaming in Hillian. 
I think that, I think Twitch puts those on themselves with certain games. It'll definitely get marked as a mature game. <laughs> All right, fine. We just put up the warning, screaming Hillian. <laughs> I tell you, you're not gonna scream. Eh, probably I'm going to get jump scared a few times. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Again, I, I still I, suspect I, if if I ever may visit you, you're gonna get jump scared by me a lot by accident. Again, I walk quietly. Not intentionally either. Okay, is isn't this where As if we don't have enough to deal with? Earthquake! What the heck is going on? Any complaints from him? Oh, uh, Hello, new face. Faces. Hey, where's Joseph? Man, I'm sorry, but you never came out. I waited, but. Uh... on the front part wrong? Maybe, but if you were to see that in your rear view mirror, how would that read? Uh, point taken. It's mirrored, because in the mirror it would appear mirrored again and thus, well, normal. Well, so we're just having the absolute shit luck, huh? God. Yeah, I feel like they borrowed this aspect from Alone in the Dark. So Alone in the Dark's car scene early on is horrible. Shit. I hope you don't see that every day. My horrible is you get to play the car scene. This is a cutscene, luckily enough. Yeah. I guess Wall Street is out for. A walk? Yeah, better joke I could have made. I knew the stock market was on the slide, but this is ridiculous. Damn it. Are we cut off from everyone? Everyone must be dead. Everyone all right back there? Just a few bumps. We're fine. 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 We will be once we're fine. far away. Fine. A little further and we'll be fine. 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 Fall! Fall! Like I said, shit out of luck. <laughs> Chapter one done, but we over we're also out of the time, so that'll be a cliffhanger then, huh? <laughs>
Oh, God. Okay. Maybe yes. Do... Oh, God. Aren't they... Ain't this good game known to be rather merciless? Not too sure about that. I will say that it is more it is clever it's more clever than it may appear. It's not like some gory horror flick. And that is all I will say on that. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I did not expect like a bloody saw movies. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next game, though this one up as you can see here, it's a bit of a nuisance because it refuses to work with uh, <clears throat> It refuses to work with uh, DX window, like it just goes absolutely mad with that. But luckily, we still have game capture, so this works. Let me just move that aside a bit. Yeah, the, the tiny bang story. I I will pre pre preface this. I, like usual, I do test these games beforehand, but I don't actually play them, so I know absolutely jack shit about this game. Okay. Let's begin then and start the timer. Wait, don't don't tell me this is okay. This is going to be just a find the things game, isn't it? Okay, nice art and all, but uh, yeah. What's what about? Okay, we need. Okay, we need to find five handles to be able to, well, continue on to the next bit. Okay, at least it's uh, there's some progression into it. Uh, we can use that to go back down. There's another piece there. There's another handle. Um, I'm already concerned. I think there's some more handles upstairs on a ladder. A wrench. Yeah, the, the ladder is what we need to fix. Oh. All right, that makes sense. It is this I was too. guessing that, but then I got a bit unsure. Okay, okay. I mean, this is this is mostly a puzzle game. Uh, piece there. Handle there. Yep. Let's see, there's some other handles here, but none that we can use from the looks of it. There's a very... I think we'll need that gear because it stands out compared to everything else. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> you thought bug in your room? Yeah, that, that sound was way too re realistic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what is... And it sounded uh, like, you know, what some excuse would do, just swoosh next to your ear. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it is a rather unpleasant sound, and I see numbers. Yeah, these are the things that we need to collect, and what? No, no, uh, one numbers oh, on a wall. Yeah, there. Oop. Let's see, four, six, two, six, two, four, six, two, four, nine, or Let, let's oh, now let's try two, four, nine, two, four, I, nine. I want to attempt to just change game for. Yeah, this is not going it's... to be much of a story game. Yeah, like, it looks nice, but... Yeah, I'm not... I, I'm already bored. Hmm. Okay, I'll give it a little bit more just to see where this goes beyond two screens. Uh, yeah, two, four, and nine. So, there's also a five there. Uh, two, five, four, maybe then. Hmm. So we can collect these for some reason. I'm guessing for hints or such. They just keep spawning new are ones those, from the looks of it. Are those, oh, if you get enough, you get a clue, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, what was it? Two, five, four. Nope. Okay, which specifically do we need then? And you need to collect quite a few of these to get a hint from the looks of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, 
I can't stand the sound. They make that sound every time you pick them up. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is why we showcase stuff to, well, see if it's any good or not. And that's... It looks like it'd, it'd be a functional puzzle game like that, but just not something for our, our style of streaming. <clears throat> So yeah, we have time for one more game. Uh, I have to, I have a feeling that I might have showcased this one before. But yeah, just to be extra certain, though we might have skipped it over, because in the first run from A to Z, I did skip over a lot of games. I'm still skipping over some games, but mostly just multiplayer stuff or things that just do not want to cooperate. <clears throat> Yeah. It's taking yeah, its time. I, 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 have, I have a feeling you, you and me talked about this game, and I, I don't know if I said I, I was against uh, showcasing this or not. Hmm. Now, you are generally against games where you play as the bad guys, and, well, it's called Thief Simulator, so... There we go. Yeah, like, Nefarious fine, but that, that's a more comical twist and all that. Yeah. But a games like Grand Theft Auto, yeah, no thanks to that. This game is a, this game has a sequel that's in the work at the moment, or maybe out in early access or so. I, uh, I have released. Hmm? Okay, yeah, I have completed this game, uh, but personally, I maybe I'm. It's not. I like I said, I completed it, not one hundred percent, but I completed its story, and. Maybe it's just me, but towards the end, I started to get bored of things. Maybe they'll have improved on that in the sequel. We'll have to see. <clears throat> it reminds me of House Flipper, which was also sort of a simulator game. That also got a sequel somewhat recently. This is taking a lot of time to load, so that's already a big point against it. <laughs> yeah, what like, It shouldn't heck? take this long. Okay, I think the game heard and... <laughs> Hurry the hell up. Okay, Th that is something with some of these simulator-style games and such that can often be <clears throat> optimization issues and just jank. Like, now it's stuck on 99 again. Come on, get the move on. Mm. Hey, Jordy? Already? Think. Hey, it's me, Vinny. Pick up that crowbar and listen up. We got a lot of ground to cover. The Lombardis paid you bail. They're generous men, but they're all about reciprocity, if you get what I mean. Let's see if you're up to the job. Knock over that house for me, the last one. Let's see, quick slots. Put that there. Crowbar. Okay. Sneaking. Well, by crouch, of course. That's big. Crouch or, or control or C is generally the sneak button. Okay. We have a noise meter at the lower left there. Avoid the lights. Okay. Oh, good reason to. Okay. They should have seen you. Hey, some dope left a flashlight on the ground. Take it, but don't let nobody see the light and call the cops. You ain't. How do you... Are they using a drone? Maybe. Break the window. Oh, wait. This game was out before the wall drone... Uh... Issues arose. Think so. <laughs> uh, good job. Time to redistribute a little well. Okay. You can open things slowly. I know that so from what I heard, a lot of people who like the original Thief games and such supposedly like this a lot. <laughs> 
the fifth game a new visual case looks more interesting than this. <laughs> okay, there are people nearby, so we do need to be somewhat quiet. And also, okay. I should say, that it, he knows it's like English. I don't mind roleplay in the games with some you are know, a villain in some form. I'm more against we are already a criminal, like a mafia you're, gangster or that. You're more of more a villain, you mean? Like with the sleeping dogs, that is also still on the to-do list. Uh, you you were fine with that one since you're on undercover Time cop bail, in the fam Get crime the families. Don't let nobody see you with that crowbar. Hmm. It's going to look for a little bit more. I haven't forgotten about that one. <laughs> yeah, we still have plenty to work through before we get there. Okay. Put the crowbar away because that totally doesn't look suspicious. Okay. Ooh. There we go. We don't want to be spotted coming out of somewhere. Especially with that get up. <laughs> okay. Start her up. And it start her up. This is an old car. Okay, and then we just well head the hell out. Head, head out. Head the hell out. I I think I said out. <laughs> H O U T, which is the, the Dutch is the Dutch word for wood. There, there. Okay, extra stuff, get experience, and with experience you can get well, more skills to steal more stuff. To get more skills job, to steal man. more stuff. This just might work. Go get some sleep and we'll pick this up in the morning. Yet another ringtone. But I'm pretty right. sure uh, the, the, that wood robbery will fail so many times because of that tone. Good chance, yeah. Check the computer. There's a few things I need to tell you. Pretty snazzy computer for someone who's just out Tools on bail. Let you buy new kit online, but you might not have what it takes to use them all. Click on Steal Your Forum. Here you can buy secrets, hot tips on what's where, who's guarding it, who leaves the door unlocked, whatever. Check out what I wrote on Greenview 109. Let's see. Security tips, possible loots, and all free. Great. Now, go to your car. Okay. Also, really steal your forum. Oop. Go hawk your loot at the pawn shop first. You'll need empty pockets at Greenview 109. Oh? We need to... If we're going to steal stuff, we're going to need to sell stuff as well. Yeah, and, and a pawn shop. I've been watching some pawn shop shows on YouTube and I had learned that... They are very strict to make sure they don't buy stolen goods. At least the reputable ones are. It's time for Greenview 109. Get me that TV and don't pawn it off. And, and uh, so, what is actually pawning? Uh, just selling back, uh, selling to a store who will then offer it up for sale themselves. Generally, I believe. Yeah, but from what I, it seems like they, you give them, and get a loan of money. If you pay them back, you get the, your stuff back, is from what I uh, understand. That's also possible. Is I uh, think it's illegal in Sweden? Hmm. Like, you can take loans, but you're not... Like, we, we have things you can buy pre-owned stuff, obviously. Just because we don't have anything you can do, like in pawn shops, where you... Like, you give them your PlayStation, and they get a right to sell your PlayStation after a certain amount of days if you don't come back in time to pay back the loan. Okay, to, to my understanding, typically with loan shark, uh, with pawning, it is just outright selling stuff to them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, only, I only noticed this because they mentioned it a few times, I explained it a few times, and even they even 
They cost me. Okay, what do they ask? Pawn or sell? You, you hear the, 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 there's a distinction there, obviously. Like, sell is rather obvious. But I mean, yeah. Pawn is not selling. That's more like, all right, I will give you this so you loan me money. If I am not able to pay back, you get the right to sell this. Like, that I think is illegal. It's real. I have seen, I have heard and people do this anyway, but not in a store. That's okay. more like between, uh, two, between two, two people. And I think it, it's technically not allowed. That's, give me that. Stuff that can easily be resold after a cleaning. Give me the key. There. Some more extra money that's just lying around. Uh, I, think about it, I think I can guess why we don't have Polish shop in Sweden since. Most of you use loan from a bank and also. I think you hit a problem when you do a system like that. Yeah. But For, it could be that people do that uh, when the banks don't want to uh, cooperate with them. Yeah, and also from what I saw in the pawn shop, mistake happens and they may give you the wrong item or they accidentally sell it before they should have. Yeah, of course. And other dramas. Okay, let's just get this thing to the car. And yeah, be off with it. There, There is an actual story in this game, but <clears throat> often uh, most of it would be just, uh, yeah, <laughs> robbing places to get money to make progression in the skill systems and such, and to get the gear required for story you know, things and so. Okay. Uh, okay, come on, drop you down. Open you up. There. Gets automatically put in when we get close. And now we just GTFO. Mm. Okay, of course not everything is going to be that easy. So, home, because we were told not to pawn it. Level up, remember to sell skill, yeah, to spend skill points. Why did they give an option to just quit the game out right there? <laughs> okay. I see you got my screen. Go to Black Bay. Black Bay. I set up a page on there for the TV. Go there and sell it. Yeah, these are basically specific things that are wanted to be sold, you know, so we can sell them for more than they than you would get at the uh, pawn shop. Old TV. Yeah, good work. Now, click on the Rent a Thug tab. And there. Now here you can find a little extra work. I put one on there just for you, the one with the dishes. Break the dishes. One ten the bakers. Except. Okay. Now, drive back to 110 and break some dishes with the crowbar. Basically, mm -hmm. side stuff for ec uh, extra money. Yeah, I'm leaning heavily, no. Yeah, like I said, this was a nice enough game, but it did really start to drag towards the end. Okay. Now, let's just park a lot closer this time. Oops. Hmm. And also, just this, this, this mission bothers me. Like, you want to go back into just break the dishes? Re yeah, it is just I an example mission. Yeah, but still, that's fair. So, so. Petty. Yeah, petty. So, petty, it's not funny. Okay, probably could have bought some info on this place to see if there's anyone here, but it doesn't look like it. It looks like just another abandoned place. But still, let's do a little bit of scouting just to make sure that there is nobody here. And yeah, so just a little cot with nobody here. Unless there's just someone in here. We'll find it out soon enough. 
Thank you. More stuff to yoink. Okay. Nothing here. Does look like someone may live here after all. An inventory full. Uh, let's just look for any small stuff then. That's the kitchen? This looks like almost identical on. to the first place we broke. Well, look at that dirty kettle. I just heard you don't even know how to pick a lock. Go learn the basics. I'm sure oh, you've got enough skill to do that. I was wondering, what do you hear a, a tea kettle without a stone and ram? Oh, right, this stone was in the other room. <laughs> you would think they would put those together, but it uh, will. Yeah, and dude, yeah, I guess they took it from th that room to that other room to have the tea in there. We can't just leave like that. Now, let's head to the pawn shop to just get rid of some stuff. And yeah, no, nothing new is stolen, so only a little bit of experience and a very noticeable just getting dropped in place Welcome. bit there. Okay, sell, 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 sell. Okay. Uh, skills over here. Lock picking, skill points, learn. We've got information here. I, I really do get the feeling that we've showcased this game before, but now I'll be able to scratch it up for certain at least. Right. Now, go buy yourself a DIY simple lock pick on Tools for Thieves. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it was against this to be on showcase because of... Uh, how much I dislike this game, and I remember why. And this, I think I saw them play, Captain Saucer on the play this in early access. You know, before the voice lines and all. A simple lock pick. It's just a screwdriver and a bobby pin. You mean a hairpin? Also works. Before you get yourself into trouble, try it on a training lock. I left one in the garage. Okay, lock picking is basically the simple. <laughs> you likely you play the lock picking game like that. that old TV in the empty house. For a real I... job, you gotta scope the joint. Go to 111 by 7 a.m. and watch. I know okay. why I dislike that sound, and I recognize that sound that phone makes. Yeah, the ringtone. It's not a ringtone. It's an alarm clock. <laughs> okay. I'm not joking. That's an alarm clock. Why did they take a alarm clock as a ringtone? Like, no, that was a thing. But uh, it's such mm. an unpleasant tone. We can park here, out of sight. If your car is spotted somewhere weird, then people will well go alert the police and such about that. Also, yes, you can shut up about this now. Okay, uh, how late is it? It's 1 p.m. Okay, we can sleep in the car to just pass time. Uh, but you need to be parked at, a, well, a parking spot you know, for that. So we'll just have to off-road a bit more, get onto the road. Yeah. And it would be efficient for people to see you sleeping there, of all places. Yep. Okay, there, sleep in car, and then go to about 6 a.m. Actually, let's just go straight to 7. It shouldn't be that long of a, uh, a walk over. Okay. Well, yeah, chasing out the place. We do that by, well, marking, <laughs> in ha marking uh, a people who live there and such. Wait for them to leave and get me that box. Okay. But as you can see, it only filled in a little bar at the upper right there to show, well, when they will be in and out. Blue means, well, they're in. And, well, red means, actually, no, blue is out. Red means danger, so they are in. 
somehow we magically know the routine of everyone else who is present <laughs> or not present at the time. So, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. Notes. 111. They will be gone by 9. So, let's go take a nap until 9. Also, is it, is it just me or is it just really freaking hard to actually take short naps and such? Mm. I can say it being hard. I have accidentally taken naps when I have a headache. But... Yeah, if, in your case, who just plan to take a short nap but end up napping for three, four hours? Maybe a nap is a bad idea. Okay, there's nobody here. Uh, we can yoink that. Just drop it down here. There's no real need to stay quiet. One by one. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. The last drawer. Is that pizza in a can or something? I thought it was beer bottle, but... What? Yoink. And also... Heinz. I think you are stealing from before. Yeah. Okay, grab that. There are richer neighborhoods that we can rob later on, or actually there's ri richer places right here in this place already. Uh, but yeah, you'll only really be able to get those once you've gotten enough skills and money from the poorer places. Like, that it looks a lot better off, huh? Holy... Are you sure the car looks almost beat up in the back? Probably been, uh, been at least one banger somewhere. Okay. And we just head off again. Shut up with your tutorials. Okay. Uh, let's head to the pawn shop to sell off the extra stuff. Yeah, I'm leaving more and more move on this game. Welcome. Uh, we're not selling the box. We are selling the TV and the pots. Okay. What happened to your voice there? Hmm? The heard <laughs> a the weird tone, then suddenly you for a short movement silent. Okay. Could be because I have a dry throat. But yeah, we'll be ending the stream soon anyway, so Black Bay... Uh, you know, I meant other... you had the electronic tone that went silent. Okay. Maybe... Something we... it, maybe Discord is having issues again then. The Lombardis yeah. think their friend on Greenview needs a new window. But they think the one they got's fine. Go prove them wrong. Really? Yeah, this bit is just going to be about, well, hiding from the police and such. So, let's just go do that, and then we can just about finish up. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, this is a nice enough game. Uh, not as good as I've heard some people say it is. Like, I think a lot of people are just starved for a good Thief game. Or word star for it. Uh, one, okay. Really? 111 there, and the next one over is 113. Okay. Okay, this is a lot more. Uh, yeah, still unfair with stealing, but it's, at least we're not stealing from people who literally have, like, only two, <laughs> one and a half rooms. And yeah, big red circle, police <laughs> line of sight, don't get in. And if you do, get out of line of sight again and hide. <laughs> Yo, 
I was wondering why you didn't do it immediately. And yeah, I think we can leave it there. A, a competent game, but yeah, it would get boring soon enough, I'd say. So let's exit the game. And besides, the, the, the hopefully better sequel is out, out soon-ish, if not already. But yeah. Let's get over the games then. We have Terror Bane. Uh, what, uh, what do you think of that one? I was, I was said maybe no, but I can co be convinced otherwise of a further research. Okay, Tesla Grads. Was a, is a maybe yes, but I'm 50-50. It, if it's gonna be 100% environmental storytelling, this can be very vague at times, like, Here's my broad issue with the event was still telling. When it's done well, it's damn done well. But I have heard and seen the people try to use it as a cop out to make the game cheaper. Cheaper and. Uh, yeah, when it, yeah. It, it's brought it painfully obvious when they just they did it for cheapness and it just collapses. I don't think that would be the case here because most of this you know, obvious story stuff was in big ass uh, tapestries or paintings. Oh yeah. So I, I very much doubt it would be to the level where, like with Dark Souls, that you need to examine each and every damn item for scraps of lore and such. Yeah, do, do, do Dark Souls there were people talking at least. But yeah, this one I don't think it's that. I think like there is competence in this one. I just hope there is something like some dialogue or some text. So not be entirely blind. Okay. And then we have the evil within. What do you think of that? I'm, I'm okay with this would be a Halloween stream. Okay. But I was a concern with the blood and gore. Well, it would be a Halloween stream. <laughs> so it would be expectable. Plus, yeah. let me I just need to be ready to remove my headphones whenever you scream. I don't think it would come to that. I have seen this game be played through before, so I know the general lines of it, but the details, of course, are have been uh, skimmed over. I, I just remember, I never heard a scream. Like, I had to swear, but scream? <laughs> okay, well, that would be a first then. We'll, we'll have to see that then. Uh, Tiny Bang story? Uh, no. Yes, no, no, no. Throw it and away. Same for Thief Simulator. Throw it away as well. <laughs> okay, that means that next week we'll be starting with There Is No Game, <laughs> Wrong Dimension. Oh god, that one. I've seen one, some bits of it. Yeah, one you have been uh, pushing me to uh, try, I believe. Actually, no. Or it may, it may have been pizza then. <laughs> Might be pizza, but I know of this game. I know Captain Souls and others have played this, but I don't recall a single mention to about talking to about it at all with you. <clears throat> oh, well, we'll have to see then. And yeah, also Thomas was alone. Thomas was alone and Titan Quest Anniversary Edition. Uh, yeah, we, we basically covered every single damn game these people have made, huh? <laughs> Almost in reverse order, I believe. <laughs> oh, God. And also... I was probably to buy Titan Quest with Switch the other day. Okay. But, but yeah. Go it's ahead. pricey and, like, sure, it's 12 gig to download, but. Uh, Let's it's see. Slow, 12 gig is slow. <laughs> okay. Now. Before we end the stream, though, of course, let's go look for someone to raid. And apparently it is very quiet at the moment. We have Dr. Misunderstood, who is again yeah. streaming. We have Moonrise, who is playing Jackbox. Redacted Cat, who is playing Alundra. And Sour Worldwards with Buckshot Roulette. Which is a horror game, I believe. I haven't actually seen much about that. Never heard of it. Okay. Um... Let's see, maybe anyone in the recommended? We have, uh, yeah, they're just at the edge of what we would typically try to rate for in the double digits. Uh, Tiu the Goat VT, who is doing art. The uh, Greyhound Girl, who is playing retro. Super Castlevania 4. 
uh, Rogue Liliana playing Baldur's Gate 3, Catre, who is playing Pal World, and Kawhi Trooper, who is playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Mm. Any of those, or shall I take a pick? A Londra, perhaps? A uh, Londra, then. Okay, double check that the place is that the browser is muted. Okay, copy. And then we head on over to our place. Last time we raided them, they were playing this as well, which was a good bit back. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. But yeah, before we start the raids, thank you everyone who may have been watching now or later. And let's see, any lurkers? Uh, no lurkers, according to the Twitch stream. At least that's, at least that typically only you know, goes for people with accounts who are watching. So for all we know, there might be 50 people without accounts watching. Though that is very unlikely, of course. <laughs> oh, you never know. And so, yeah, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching either here or on YouTube. And yeah, let's see. If nothing gets in the way, then maybe another stream tonight. Uh, I'll have to look. Mm, actually, no, the, the next thing with the roleplay group that I was talking about yesterday should be next week, but I'll keep an eye on that. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to see what to actually do. Shall we continue with uh, Shipbreaker? Yeah, Shipbreaker or uh, premiere of uh, one of the other new side quest games. Could do that as well, yeah. But we'll have to see about that well, later. So for now, let's get that raid started. Da -da -da. There. And yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. <laughs> and, uh, thieving... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say thieving seagulls, but that's what they do on base already. <laughs> yeah, I've already seen a seagull steal someone's golf ball and dropping in a lake. <laughs> All right. <laughs>